Where's my phone? Good morning, Sunshine. Good morning. Did you sleep well? Yup, but I'm still kind of tired though. Oh, do you want to go back to sleep? You still have a few hours before class. Nah, I'm fine. Besides, I feel better just talking to you. Oh, stop it. You know I hate it when you get cheesy. I just love making you smile. Anyway, your mom's been asking how you are, and also Tita, how's she been? You know, same old, same old. We're both getting by. I'm so thankful for her, honestly. And speaking of school, I have to get ready. Would you like to study together for a bit? After class? When, you know, when we both got the time? I'd love to. I'll see you after class. Love you. I love you too, sunshine. Bye! <sighs> now that's a great way to start the day. That's weird. It never usually hurts like this. I guess it should be fine though. I mean, my back is always in some sort of pain. I guess it'll be better tomorrow. Yeah, it will get better tomorrow. <sighs> Why am I palpitating? I didn't even drink a lot of coffee. Well, I guess it should be fine. I mean, drinking coffee in college is quite normal. Huh? Why does my urine look like this? Is this from the coffee? No. Wait. Whoa, well, I think I have a fever. And my stomach hurts. What's, what's wrong with me? What's happening? Bro. I don't know what's happening to me lately. Why? What's happening? I've been experiencing the symptoms. Odd ones. I thought it was from the coffee, but it's becoming too much, I think. See a doctor. You probably need the help. Yeah, I will soon. I hope this isn't something serious. I mean, my mom can handle financial distress. Update me, okay? Of course, bro. Bye. Hello, sir. What brought you to the head? Oh, I've been feeling really weak lately. And I also had... Uh, sorry, sorry for that. I have shortness of breath and chills. Oh, and I also urinated a reddish brown urine. Okay. How long has it been since you've experienced this reddish brown urine? I think it has been over a week now. Over a week? Oh, I see. Let me check it out. Your temperature is quite high. Have you experienced any of these symptoms? Why are you here alone? My back and my abdominal area really hurts. I don't want my mom to worry about this. But I'll tell her if my condition gets really serious. Okay, I see. I've also observed that you have um, enlarged lymph nodes. I'll refer you to a specialist. Can we wait for me for a while? Thank you. Hello, I'm Dr. Val. Uh, I'm a hematologist and have been told of your symptoms. Uh, I need you to take some laboratory tests, complete blood count and urinalysis, so that we will be able to, to determine what your condition is. Okay, Doc. Please wait here for a while and the vet tech will come and get your blood sample. Based on your laboratory results, it says here that you have high white blood cell count, 
low level of red blood cells, hematocrit, and hemoglobin. This just means that you have problems concerning your RBCs. That is why you're experiencing, you're experiencing this reddish brown urine. Is that serious, Doc? Your results are quite alarming, so I have to request for a bone marrow examination in order to confirm your condition. After the procedure, we will tell you right away if we have the diagnosis. Another procedure? What? Okay, okay, okay. I think I still have money saved up for that. Shouldn't you inform your mother about this? I'll inform her once you have your diagnosis. I don't want her to get worried about me. She might beat herself up. Okay. Good afternoon, Greta. I'm very sorry to inform you that you have an illness called warm autoimmune hemolytic anemia. What? What is that? Warm autoimmune hemolytic anemia is an autoimmune disorder characterized by the premature disruption of healthy red blood cells. Autoimmune diseases occur when one's own immune system attacks healthy tissue. People who have autoimmune hemolytic anemia usually have high reticulocyte counts because their bone marrow is ripping hard to replace the destroyed red blood cells. The range will be higher if the blood has low hemoglobin levels due to bleeding or red blood cell destruction. If treated properly, you can recover, but without treatment, this could be fatal. If you would like to discuss treatment plans, you can contact my secretary immediately. Okay, Doc. First, I must speak out to my mother. supposed to do this <sighs> and now <sighs> what's wrong are you all right you seem very tense <sighs> ma I have something to tell you Alright, I have to go to the market to buy some stuff for a dinner tonight. Have you eaten already? Ma, it's important. Can we please talk? What's wrong, son? I'm not feeling well. I thought it was nothing at first, but I saw discoloration in my urine. I'm sick. Oh God, I can't afford to take you to the doctor. You know that. I know. I use my savings. I pay for the consult, the test, everything. Okay, so what is it? A UTI? No, I have a warm autoimmune hemolytic anemia. I've been struggling with the symptoms for weeks now and I need to be treated immediately. Please. I don't have the money, Gretel. I'm sorry. We have debts and you insisted of going to school instead of working. How will I pay for the hospital bills? Things have been a bit tough here at home. Well, do you want to talk about it? No, I don't want to bother you. I know you're busy. What about your other friends? Have you talked to them already? I noticed that you haven't been so active on social media lately. And I'm sure they're worried as well. Yeah, I'll let them know when I'm okay soon. Okay, but if you need someone to talk to, you know you can come to me, right? Okay, but right now I'm sorry, I have to go. There's so many things I have to do and I have a project, so... I'll call you when I'm free, okay? Okay. Take care.
take a seat. You have to eat or you'll get sick. I was wrong and selfish. I promise you I will do everything I can to get you better. I was just so stressed out with all the bills. I know it won't be easy, but I will try. I promise I will. Thank you, Ma. I'm sorry for being such a burden. I really ask for this. I feel guilty. Trust me. Don't worry too much about that, okay? We'll make sure you'll get better. Go rest up now. He hasn't called me back at all, or replied, or even gone online. It's like he's disappeared. Did I do something wrong? No, everything was fine. Why is he ghosting me out of the blue? I thought we were okay. What if... Is he cheating on me? No, he wouldn't. Would he? God, if he's cheating on me, then I'll become one of those who have failed LDR relationships. But Gretel isn't like that. Well, why is he ignoring me? Is he really ghosting me? What, is this the end? to reach out to her. Christine. Hey Christine, it's me Kevin. Gretel's best friend. Pick up your phone, please. Or at least look at my messages. There's something I have to tell you. This is about Gretel. Hey, how are you? Are you okay? I don't know. I feel like a part of me was taken so suddenly and I didn't even know that he's gone. I'm so sorry to hear that. Actually, Gretel told me not to tell anyone else about his condition because he didn't want anyone to be worried. How could he not tell me? I'm so sorry. Tell me, Kevin, please. What really happened to him? He had a high fever for days. And he was very weak. His lymph nodes were enlarged. And he also felt discomfort in his body. Then, when he got checked up, the doctor said that he had warm, autoimmune, hemolytic anemia. It wasn't fatal at first. But his condition worsened. His family had death. He didn't want financial help from his fears either. His mom desperately wanted to do something for him. She tried working extra shifts to save up some money. Gretel visited the hospital a couple of times, but he couldn't afford all the medication. One day, his body just gave up. I could have done better for him. Look. It's not your fault, nor anyone's fault. If you know, then I would have paid him to see you. Please, don't blame yourself. He love you. Although we were only together for a short time, Gretel did change my life. Because of him, I founded the Foundation for Hemolytic Anemia Awareness. Through this, I keep his memory alive, wherever he is now. I hope he is happy. I hope that his memory will forever live on. <laughs>